guys. Uh, on the last section, 7-7, seven, seven, exponential and power functions. So you guys dealt with exponential functions so far. Domain, all row numbers, range, depends on what the k value is. Now, two functions here that get um, kind of mixed up. Exponential function and power function. I mean, exponent and power mean the same thing, but it's different. So I need you to take these two notes down. So exponential function. You should all be able to write me down what that is. Y equals a times b to the power of x. So x, so domain is all the exponents that b could be. And then y is the range. But here is the power function is commonly confused. It looks like y equals a times x to the power of b. So notice what x is in this case. The domain is the base right here. The base of x. Which is x. Okay so what changes over here? The exponent change. So if I put in 1 that would change this right? You know, if this was, we'll give an example, y equals, you know, 2 times 3 to the power of x. So 5x is 1, that's 6. 5x is 2, that's 3 squared. 9 times 2 is 18, so on, so on. But here, y equals a, we'll say, is 2 times x um, to the power of b. So some number b, we'll say x to the third. So what, what happens here is in a power function, this changes. So let's just do a couple coordinates, all right? If x, uh, x and y. If x is 0, you put 0 here. 2 times 0 cubed, 0. Put 1 in here. 2 times 1 cubed is 2 times 1, which is 2. Put 3 in there. 2 times 3 cubed. Well, 3 cubed is 27, times 2 is 54. So it has a certain look to it, okay? So power functions look like maybe something like this, okay? Um, but exponential functions, well, it depends on A and B, right? I mean, here's a growth, here's a decay, so on, so on. So. So another difference between what an exponential function looks like, which you should already know, and a power function. Notice the x is the base. Okay? So we're going to use those two ideas in this section 7-7. Seven, seven. Know how to find equations. What we're going to do is find equations. I'm going to give you information like, hey, here's a coordinate, and here's a coordinate. Find what this equation would be based on that. Same thing here. Here's a coordinate, here's a coordinate. Find out what this equation should be. All right, so first example, number one, says write an exponential function. So I'm not going to tell you this. You just have to know this. Y equals AB to the X. So Y equals A times B to the power of X, whose graph passes through these points. You only need two points, one, two, to find the equation that uh, represents that whole function right there. Like for other things, I said, hey, at least get try to get like three points or whatnot for other things. But exponential functions, you only need two. So all we're going to do is we're going to put these coordinates into here. One represents x, 12 represents y. So one I'm going to put here, 12 represents y. So 12 equals a times b to the power of x, which is 1. There is equation number one. Next. Uh, use the other coordinate, 3 comma 108, so 3 is x and 108 is y. So 108 equals a times b to the power of x, which is 3. All right, now, there's equation number 2. Here's what you do with these equations. Get both of these. That's step 1. Plug these coordinates into the original function. So the trick is to this is to get a by itself. So, if we want to get A by itself, we divide by B, divide by B. A is equal to, cancel, uh, 12 
divided by b. We're going to use this information in the second one. So a is 12 over b. So let's put this in for a since we know what a is. You just we just figured that out. So this becomes 108 is equal to instead of a, we know a is 12 over b. So 12 over b that's now a times b to the third. Now look at this. 12 over b times b to the third. I can put this over 1. I got b's up top, b's on the bottom. We can simplify this. So this becomes 108 is equal to what's b to the third divided by b? That's b squared up top. So this becomes 12 b squared over 1, which is really 12 b squared. So this is the wor equation we're working with right now. Get b by itself. That's what we want. We want b right now. So divide by 12, 12. We got b squared equals... Uh, 108 divided by 12 is 9. There we go. B is equal to, if B squared is 9, square root, square root, B equals 3. Technically, plus or minus 3. But there should only be one answer. So since B is 3, yeah, we're only working with the positive base, not the negative. So anytime you're doing these exponential functions, the B, every B we work with so far has been positive. So put that right in there. So B equals just positive 3. Now, we need A as well. So where would we find it? Well, where would it go? B is 3. Put B right here. This would be the easiest one to do. You could put it here, but it doesn't matter. So 12 equals A times B, which is 3 we found right there. So divide by 3. A equals 4. So A is 4. Put it in there. Final answer y equals a which we found is 4 times b to the x so b we found to be 3 to the power of x this is how you find an exponential function given two coordinates okay so make sure you understand how to get that by hand there you go